you got to be able to make the connection between group data and you know ungrouped data and if you do it from a table it's much quicker than you know listing it out but yeah essentially this is one lot of three three lots of four etc etc eight lots of five and so on and just all these numbers in a list put into a table so if you counted the numbers that's the first one that's the second that's the third that's the fourth and so on okay so how many numbers are there in total you would add up the frequency and um, we call this either you can do it total frequency or we call it n so one that's four plus eight 12 19 24 25 so n is 25 there are 25 uh, numbers in total to find, I know we'll not find the medium, but you could find the medium by doing n plus 1 divided by 2. You find the middle number. So in other words, 26 divided by 2. So you, you would find the 13th number in a list. So if you listed them all out, you would find the 13th number in that list. Now you can do this using cumulative frequency. So uh, that's what we're going to do. So cumulative frequency is just a running total of the frequency. So there's one, three, there are four threes and fours. There are 12, three, fours and fives. And remember, we were, for the, if we were looking at the median, you'd want the 13th number. So it's going to lie in this group because you've got 12 numbers in the first three groups. So we've got 19 numbers now, if we add on the, all the sixes, and then you've got 24 numbers and then 25 numbers because uh, there's one, eight. So where does the 13th number lie? Which group does it lie in? This group, because the, the last of the number fives is in this group, because there are 12 numbers up to that point. So this is how you find it quickly from a uh, table. But you wanted the quartile. So the first quartile is, uh, sorry, n plus one divided by four. So 26 divided by four, which is 13 divided by two. So six is the 6 point fifth. Uh, value. In other words, it's in between the uh, six and seventh number. So where are the six and seventh numbers? You look at your cumulative frequency, there are four numbers up to here, but we should see pretty quickly that both the six and the seventh value are in the group uh, for number five, because you've got up to the first 12 numbers there. So, you know, we could see this, I wouldn't recommend doing it this way, but if you get stuck, you can see it, you know, if you had to list them out, you could. Uh, but we can see what this means here. There are eight of these. So I'll just prove to you that the sixth and seventh number lie there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's the six and there's the seventh. The sixth and seventh number lie in that group. So the mid, this way, the quarter, lower quartile, uh, which we can call Q1, is a five. And then the upper quartile, you probably actually quick. You can do three n plus one uh, divided by four, but it's actually what you can do. It's quicker. It's just times this one by three. So six point five times three is uh, nineteen point five. So we're looking for the nineteen point fifth value in our list. So in other words, in between the nineteenth and the twentieth number. So this one's been more difficult because if we look at our cumulative frequency, we can see nine. there are 19 numbers up to the group six, the group including all the sixes. So actually the 19th number is going to be a six, but then the 20th number will be in the next group. So it's going to be a seven. So it lies in between six and seven. So you've got to find the median of those two or the middle of those two. So Q3 would be... 6.5 it's going to be in between those two values uh, if it still doesn't make sense you might have to come and see me but i know you won't have much time but anyway good luck